Hi, this is David Furr. I just wanted to talk to you today about ASM and actually the materials community as a whole. The question we have is, have you found your technical committee or homeroom of interest? It's an interesting question. The issue is materials is a very, very large and broad topic. There's many of us within ASM that have interest in many different things. So ASM doesn't mean the same thing to everybody. So the question is, have you found your technical committee or homeroom of interest? So one issue we'd like to do is talk to you about the things that you're passionate about and seeing are you able to uh, find that area of interest to you and get involved. So we would like to invite you to get involved into something that you are passionate about. One of the things that ASM has done over the past year, actually a little bit longer, is develop a infrastructure to enable technical committees to be formed and to work on things that are of interest to our members, interest to you. So uh, what, one thing we want to talk about here today is uh, what are technical committees? What, what do they do? Well, what are the committees that exist today? And, and what topics might be possible for the future for future committees? And how do we get involved or start new technical committees? These are all things that I, I would like to actually have everyone think about because ASM has a lot of opportunity for all of us and a lot of opportunity to do things that we really care about. So the potential of ASM International Technical Committees offers a, a multitude of, of benefits, giving back to our, our community. So everyone has a technical area that they're interested in, an area of interest. How do we actually get together with others that have the same interest and try to drive that technical area forward? We also can take these technical committees and do other things, helping the next generation of leaders in our area of interest. If we care about an area, we want to grow that area. We want others to get interested in that area as well. So working these technical committees, inviting others to these technical committees to do things together in a teamwork environment. They are also are really important as a continuous education and learning opportunity. So continuous learning from other uh, people who are passionate about the same topic. All of us can learn and continue to learn and we can do that from others who have the same passion about uh, a, a common topic. So also as well, uh, technical committees are forming and are doing things that are working on and delivering tangible projects for the society and the materials community as a whole. So doing things that we could actually be proud of, things that we can deliver and, and say that, that we have been involved and we've worked on it. But really also a really important element of technical committees is actually having fun. Uh, the collegial environment, people working together and trying to do good, do good for the society and the community as a whole. What are the things we can do with these technical committees? If you become a leader of a, of a committee or lead or work on a subcommittee, the things that we can work on and do are, are doing reach out and organizing uh, conference symposia. ASM has uh, programming committees, such as the IMAT conference, also the AROMAT conference, and, and other very, very important uh, conferences. Those conference organizing committees absolutely can use help and support and link to technical committees, and technical committees can provide guidance on possible symposia. These technical committees also can develop educational courses or course material to try to help out uh, educate uh, others in the society on the, the te technical topic area that we're, we're, we're focused on. Also, another very important uh, aspect of, of technical committees is to develop industry uh, specifications or standards. That actually is going on right now in one of our technical committees. ASM has not been known to be a society that does develop, manage, and um, disperse industry-wide standards, per se. However, we are working with other societies to make sure that does happen. 
So ASM wants to do outreach, not only within the society, but amongst other societies as well, as we can do that. Uh, develop initiatives to generate new materials property data types. That's actually it sounds like a strange one. ASM is the Materials Information Society. We, we develop and curate and publish data of all types. There are always new types of data that we are, uh, as a materials community, developing and generating. And these technical committees work on that. The issue of, of uh, microstructures that have orientation imaging or materials data that is relevant for manufacturing processes, not in state. These are different types of data, and is, is that an area of interest, and could various technical committees do that? Develop and identify software tools. So various technical areas do actually employ uh, modeling and simulation. These technical committees could actually work toward identifying those tools that are already available or emerging and make uh, uh, the, the community as a whole aware of what is the um, the art of the possible. What can be done? What can be simulated? And also develop university outreach programs, getting students, getting professors engaged with industry activities and other activities within ASM and these technical communities. Uh, ASM also has a number of other uh, ongoing and long-standing committees uh, in the area of content content relative to making and, and generating and publishing handbooks and other technical books. These technical committees are, are right now today looking at helping out and supporting uh, updating or making new handbooks or technical books as well. Uh, develop focused articles uh, or sections in ASM international journals or magazines. So again, these, these technical committees can start to do those kind of outreach activities, publishing, and also providing um, monthly uh, um, information about what the, what the committees are actually doing. So one of the things about these technical committees uh, is, is really about anything, anything that the, that the committee would like to do, focused around and supporting the development, awareness, product development, service development, around the technical area that you are passionate about. If you're interested, why not? Why can't we get that kind of a technical committee going, stand it up, and, and try to get a community gathered together working on that same topic? So what technical committees exist and what is possible? So also longstanding committees within ASM, the Alloy Phase Diagram Committee, Materials Property Database Committee, Residual Stress Committee, which is actually a brand new committee that was just recently stood up. Similarly, the Materials and Process Modeling Committee, Materials Data Management and Analytics Committee, Archaeometallurgy Committee, Additive Manufacturing Committee. These number of the, the, the last uh, one, two, three, four, five are all new committees st uh, stood up because groups came together and said, we are passionate about these topics. We'd like to do focused activities and efforts, and we invite you to join these committees or other committees as well. What other committees could we do? So just almost like the sky's the limit. ASM is trying to make and enable members to become active and work on these kind of activities together as a community. So possible other topics might be mechanical behavior and property testing committee. There's a lot of activities going on around that as far as standards groups looking at testing, testing methods, et cetera. But mechanical behavior, why does it actually work the way it does? What are some of the nuances relative to test, test methods? Might there be a technical committee within ASM that would wanna focus on that kind of topic, provide educational courses on how mechanical tests and behaviors of materials are, are performed uh, and characterized? Material selection committee. ASM has handbooks on material selection and it's a, a big part of the materials community, making sure we help out our design um, and, and structures counterparts within engineering. 
So material selection is very, very important, but it's also a very complicated area. Looking at data, optimizing uh, material uh, types and data um, uh, considerations for an application. How best do you do that? Ashby diagrams, that's one way of doing it. Other ways are out there too, and utilization of ASM materials data may also be a very, very helpful part. So the question would be, could there actually be a materials selection committee, a group that's focused around the technologies related to how do you do the best optimization and selection of materials? Another might be environmental impact on materials committee. That actually sounds a little bit like, wow, it's a kind of a corrosion committee. It might be a corrosion committee, corrosion, oxidation, uh, any kind of impact maybe that environment could have on our materials performance temperature effects, aging effects, et cetera. Those are things that we have to worry about for long-term durability and sustainability of products. So a question might be, is that a committee that you're interested in or are there others? It's up to you. Again, the sky's the limit. One actually important uh, sets of trivia here on the right, did you know, the did you know trivia? The Thermal Spray Society started out as an ASM technical committee. A group got together, was interested in, focused on, and started to develop content activities uh, around the area of thermal spray. Now Thermal Spray Society has been stood up as an affiliate society of ASM International. Similarly, the Failure Analysis Society was one of the largest and most active technical committees uh, within ASM, and it also now has become a recent new affiliate society of ASM, a complete society on uh, failure analysis. <clears throat> so how do we get involved? How, how do all the members think about this and say, wow, this sounds kind of interesting. ASM is huge, lots of topics, materials as a, as a uh, topic area is, is very, very large. How do we get involved? How do we do that? Well, all of the committees are actually looking for members they're looking for active support by, by uh, the membership as a whole. So if you go to the ASM Connect site, there is actually a, uh, a location where you can go where it says Society Committees and Councils. If you go there, it will list all of the various uh, committees that are available and how you can link to them, send notes and say, yes, I would like to be involved. That's one way of doing it. If you actually go there and you do not find that the topic area of interest, you don't find your homeroom. Well, we want to make sure you have the opportunity to have your homeroom and your area of, of most passion. So you can start a new technical committee. And how do you do that? Pull together your community and propose a new technical committee. There's actually a process by which you can propose formalization of a technical committee within ASM. If you have a sufficient number, of, of members that want to come together to do that, it is very, very possible to do. If you do not have your own uh, community, but you have a, a, a technical area of interest, but you want to start a committee in this area, ASM has also helped out in this area. You can reach out to the ASM membership through the Connect site. So again, go to the Connect site, join the discussion. So if you go there, you can start to ask questions, send notes to your peers, anyone throughout the ASM community. Ask, are there others that have the same interest? Start to have that, con that community connection and discussion. If that there's a list of members that want to come together, and again, propose a new technical committee, do so. Submit that request, that proposal, and then formalize the technical committee. What I'd like to do, again, is invite you to join your colleagues in an existing or new ASM technical committee. ASM has been working very, very hard to support its members, and this is another step that ASM has done to actually allow the membership to come together in uh, communities of practice, in homerooms, and in areas that they're passionate about. I look forward to seeing you in, in many technical committees.